Hi, hi everyone. This is our weekly blog, and we have a guest today. This is Chris from Australia. He's doing rounds with us for about six weeks, and he's sort of amassed some questions, and he's going to, uh, I don't know exactly what they are, but <laughs> I'll do my best to answer them, okay? So, what's the first question? Okay, so my, my first question was, small pulses or weak pulses, they always tend to be very thin and very straight. So I was wondering, how do you differentiate between a small pulse and a wiry pulse? Wiry pulses are considered excess pulses, so they're not weak. When, they, when, you, when you push down on them, they can push back just a little bit, a harder, stronger, okay? And then you can look at the other pulses too. If they're fairly strong, then you know you have a wiry pulse somewhere. It can be a wiry pulse in the uh, sinuses, a wiry pulse in the lung, wiry pulse in the stomach, wiry pulse in the left guan. And if the other pulses are fairly strong, then you know it's just relax, you know, it's, it's a, you need chi movers, blood movers, to make that type of pulse go away. But a small pulse or a weak pulse, it's also very thin and wiry, but when you push on it, it just disappears. And also, the other pulses will be weak too. The body isn't, doesn't function in isolation. So if the right soon is weak, that's related, the right soon is the sinuses, but it's also related to the thyroid. So if the right soon is thin and weak, the whole 